we're celebrating the feast of St. Boniface. He died in the 1400s and is considered to be the, uh, the apostle to the Germans. He met the, uh, converted the Germanic peoples. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Take a moment to ask the Lord's peace and forgiveness. You call us to be your holy people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the martyr St. Boniface be our advocate, O Lord, that we may firmly hold the faith he taught with his lips and sealed in his blood and confidently pass, pass it on and profess it by our deeds. We make our prayer through Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. You have followed my teaching, my way of life, purpose, faith, patience, love, endurance, persecutions, and sufferings such as happened to me in Antioch, Iconian, and Lystra, persecutions that I endured, yet from all of these things the Lord delivered me. In fact, all who want to live religiously in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. But wicked people and charlatans will go from bad to worse, deceivers and deceived. But you remain faithful to what you have learned and believed, because you know from whom you learned it. And that from infancy, you have known the sacred scriptures, which are capable of giving you wisdom for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scriptures is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for refutation, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that one who belongs to God may be competent, equipped, for every good work. The word of the Lord. Be God. O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. Though my persecutors and my foes are many, I turn not away from your decrees. Permanence is your word's chief trait. Each of your, justice, your just ordinances is everlasting. Princes persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. Those who love your law have great peace. For them there is no stumbling blocks. I will wait for your salvation, O Lord, and your commands I fulfill. I keep your precepts and your decrees, for all my ways are before you. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. 
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. As Jesus was teaching in the temple area, he said, How do the scribes claim that the Christ is the Son of God? David himself, inspired the Holy, by the Holy Spirit, said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet. David himself calls him Lord. So how is he his son? Great crowd heard this with delight. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. This very short doc- gospel is even more difficult than it is short. But Jesus is in the temple uh, area where he's been teaching for a couple of days now. It's right close. Right, uh, these events take cl- uh, take place right close to his his uh, suffering and death, his betrayal. So he's in the temple area where anybody can go and orate or debate. And here's Jesus, and he has his little space, and the crowd around him are just wrapped in attention with, uh, to Jesus' words. But his nemesis, the scribes, begin to challenge him, as they have been throughout his whole public ministry. And uh, saying, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand. And Jesus is saying, well, how can you call him Lord if David calls him son? It's impossible. Um, So Jesus doesn't answer their question directly uh, because he was so frustrated with the constant um, dodging, uh, dodging of him. So the crowd is awed once again, and the scribes begin to slink away. We can never go wrong living the words of Jesus Christ. Uh, and a special challenge during these very difficult days in which we find ourselves. To stand or speak for justice for all is pretty clear. For peace in cities, for reconciliation, for love. Uh, they are not, uh, cannot be misquoted. Stay close to the Lord. He will stay close to us. And so we turn to the Lord now and ask him to hear us and be attentive to our prayer through the intercession of St. Boniface. We pray always for thanksgiving. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace and reconciliation in our, in our country, in our city, in our world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Christ's dramatic presence and that of his mother among us during these days of coronavirus, we pray to the Lord. Lord For all of our beloved dead, we pray to the Lord. Lord Take a moment to remember our own prayers. Lord, we ask you to receive the prayers we bring before you here today. We offer them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. We pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the of the Holy Church. Look upon these sacrificial gifts of bread and wine we offer on the feast day of blessed Boniface. And grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion may imitate what we now do 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle the victory is yours. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and on earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out. And without end we say, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Wilton, our Bishop, and all the people of God. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, with St. Boniface, who has pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. So we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but rather on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants in the true faith, that they may everywhere profess in word and deed the faith for which blessed Boniface never ceased to labor, and for which he spent his whole life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go. Thank you.